Hi, my name is Sahira, and welcome to my online belly dance studio. Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at some more belly dance arm movements. Today's move I call seaweed hands because it's kind of like your hands are two pieces of seaweed floating in the ocean. So it's a fairly simple looking move, but it can sometimes be fairly complex to do. So we're going to start with this movement down at our hip level. Of course, with belly dance posture, you want to be sure that the arms aren't hanging limply at your sides, but that you have a little bit of space underneath the armpit, underneath the elbow. This movement is going to go from the elbow all the way down to the fingertips, but the top of the arm is going to stay stationary. So positioning the arms with the elbows out towards the side walls, what you're going to be doing is pulling the arm out to the side with the wrist and then pushing it back in with the wrist. You want to imagine that your hand is kind of dragging along behind the movement. You have energy in the fingers, but the fingers are also nice and fluid as the hand pulls away and back in. The hand pulls away and back in. So elbow stays fairly stationary, as you see here, and the hand is pushing out, leading with the wrist, pulling in, leading with the wrist. Fingers are energized, but smooth. Same thing on the other side, keeping the elbow fairly stationary, pushing out, leading with the wrist, pulling in, leading with the wrist. I'll show you here facing the mirror, same idea. Pushing out, leading with the wrist, pulling in, leading with the wrist. Shoulder is stationary, elbow is fairly stationary, fingers are energized. If we're going to do these both at the same time, one will push in while the other pushes out. One pushes in, the other pushes out. So they're mirroring each other. They're doing the same movement, both to the right, both to the left. Both to the right, both to the left. This variation, we're going to keep the palms in, but you can certainly do it where the, the palms flip to face different sides as well. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this with music. What I'd like to do is add a couple of our basic belly dance movements on top of it as we drill. So for today, I'm going to be adding the Maya and the inner hip roll. And so if you're not familiar with these moves, you can check out my videos on the moves to get familiar with them, and we're going to add them in to the seaweed hands. So let's go ahead and try that with music. Find your belly dance posture, your pelvis is tucked, chest is lifted, shoulders are rolled back and down, arms are positioned at the side, Let's start with just the hands, pulling them right and left. Elbows are nice and stationary, pointing towards the side walls. So four counts each side. We'll go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice that I'm keeping my hands outside the framework of my body, so I'm not allowing them to come here in front of me. This is my personal preference. I just find it allows the hip work to be seen more easily. So let's go ahead and add a Maya onto this. So vertical figure eight, up to down, heels on the ground. So here it's almost as if your hand were pulling your hips over into the Maya movement. Up, over, down. Wrist is pulling, fingers are energized, elbows are stationary, shoulders are down away from the ears. Good, keep it going. I'm going to turn around here to face you. Excellent. We can also take this movement and slowly move it up. So keep the move the same. The shoulders are nice and still. Elbows are moving just to lift the arm. So still matching the hips. Going right and left with the hips. And bring them back down. Same arm movement. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the inner hip roll. Heels come up off the ground. Inner hip roll, vertical figure eight. Elbows are nice and stationary. Chest is lifted. And last one here. And that is your seaweed hand movement, which can be added into a number of different basic belly dance moves. Thanks for joining me.